Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at different options for getting dynamic display AAC systems on your computer so that you can provide modeling or aided language input either in teletherapy or when you're in person and maybe you don't have an iPad and you want to be able to pull up systems on your computer. So we're going to look at um, a bunch of different systems and mostly free options for how to use them. So first let's look at CoughDrop. This one is really easy because the system exists right in a web browser. So all you need to do is um, sign up for the website. I believe SLPs can sign up for free to get a copy of the app. So here I have it up on my computer and I can use um, the system the same way that I can on an iPad. This is also really nice because you can pull it up on a Chromebook. You don't have to have like a Windows platform in order to download it. Next, let's look at Snap Core. So this one you used to download in the Windows Store and now you just go to the MyTobu Dynavox website and you can download it there for free. The free version doesn't have voice output, but again, if you're an SLP, um, you can log into their website and there's a way that you can get access to like one free voice. So if you sign in with that account on your computer, you can get voice on your computer. I sign in on my iPad, so I have the voice output on my iPad. But what this looks like is, we'll pull it up right here. And again, you can see um, it's the same exact thing as what you're going to get on the iPad. So it'll match, you can match it to your student system and sync them. Next, we're going to look at PRC. So there's two options here for getting PRC systems on your computer. There's Empower, which you would download right here, and the New Voice Pass software. The difference between these two are... The language system is gonna look the exact same, but PASS is just their older platform and Empower is the newer platform. So the toolbox looks a little bit different. So for my students who are on newer systems and on Empower, I really want to have my Empower system here so that when I go to the toolbox, it looks the same in case I need to walk families through something. Or just the other day I made a video um, for how to change something in the keyboard. So that's really helpful. Now PASS, like I said, is the older system. So let's look, um, you can see the, the vocabulary and everything is the same, but the toolbox is just going to be the older toolbox. However, I prefer pass because of the feature to write with icons. And again, this is static display, not um, dynamic display, but I love this because you can type in any word and then I just screenshot those icon sequences and I do a lot of, um, use that a ton for making materials and for my therapy. Next, Saltillo Systems, you're going to download Chat Editor. I actually don't have this downloaded on my computer right now, so I can't show you, um, but you would download this right on the Saltillo website. This is free. Same with Empower and Pass. They're all free, but you don't get a voice output. For chat editor, you can get voice output if you have a device, like if you have your student's device and you plug it into your computer um, to load their page set or something, ask your Saltillo rep or somebody else. I don't know exactly how to do that, um, but I know it's possible to get voice output here. Um, and chat editor also can support touch chat word power and lamp you can get on there. And you can do something similar to the right with icons. Christine Bodden has a video on how to do that on her YouTube channel. Next. Okay. So we're going to talk about iPads. So if you have a system on your iPad and you want to mirror it to your computer, this would probably be for teletherapy. I use this app called Lonely Screen because it's free and it just gives this periodic pop-up of do you want to download it or not. So I'm going to show you what it will look like. Um, you don't have to download anything on your iPad. See, there we go. I, I just say maybe later. Okay, so this is what will pop up and I select Lonely Screen. So I just swipe up on my... Um, Yep, you can see, oh good, I have my little assistive touch there. So you can see I just swipe up and then when I go to mirroring, I choose the option of lonely screen. I can swipe down and then there's my system um, and I can provide modeling like that. So this would be for any app like uh, Speak For Yourself. I haven't found another option. I would just be mirroring my um, iPad. So if you don't want to use Lonely Screen, here are some other options. Reflector 3 is a paid um, program. I haven't tried that, but I know people who like it. If you have a Mac, you can use AirPlay um, right from your iPad or your phone to your Mac. 
And then here's another option. Again, if you have a Mac, you can go to the app store on your computer and purchase an app and download it onto your computer. So I hope that um, this is helpful and gives you some ideas for um, getting a system up on your computer to provide aided language input.